Hello everyone, I hope you're doing fantastic today. Today we're going to be looking at bounce blocks, which is like an awfully complicated version of a kill block. Let's get started. We're going to go and insert a new part. Go to parts over here. And remember, click F to focus. And let's uh, change the color to uh, there. No, that looks too boring. Let's try, uh, yeah, a nice, nice little blue. So as always, we're going to add a script. And you know I like naming my parts dance. Let's uh, delete the previous dance so we don't get that confused. Let's click Dan. Yep. And we're going to go and we're going to type in the same thing that we typed in in the first part for our last video. Game.workspace.dan.touch colon, connect, function, and let's do part for this. Remember, you can, you can name this whatever you want, this little part. And we're going to enter. And this time we're going to make a variable because we don't want to call something or we don't, we don't, we don't want to copy and paste something many, many times if we don't have to. So we're going to say local. So we, we can only access it from this script. We can't go to this script, for example, and call this variable. That'd be bad because then we might break something. So let's say no, local, humanoid, oop. And you can name this whatever you want. I'll go back and rename it Fred or something or Daisy or something if you want. And this equals the part, which we have up here. Remember, this is the block that, or the block, the cow, the chicken, the player, anything that has touched Dan. So let's go part dot parent dot humanoid. And if you remember from last video, this is saying, well, the arms or the leg or the heads owner. And then we're going to search for something of that person. But we're going to store this in a variable because we're going to use this little part quite a few times. And we don't want to retype that or copy paste that. So we're going to go humanoid dot jump power is equal to 200. Then we're going to click wait. And then humanoid. This, this is what I was talking about. We don't want to type in this more than once. So humanoid dot jump is equal to true. Uh, let's, let's, let's pause for a second. What this, is, what this is doing is it's saying whenever something touches the block or whenever something touches Dan, we're going to say, well, who touched it? And we're going to alter their properties. So we're going to go into where they store their values like jump power, jump power is a value. Jump power is usually very, very small. It's usually like five or 10, but we're gonna go 200 because we wanna make them jump pretty high. Then we're gonna say wait. Then jump equals true. So they're, they're, gonna, they're, they're gonna do this first before jumping. So they're gonna set their jump power to 200 before they actually jump. If we take out this wait, that might accidentally jump before jump power is put to 200. And that won't make it a super jump. That'll just make them jump normally. And then next time they jump, it'll jump super high. Then we're going to say wait. And then this time, very a very, very small amount of time. Because we don't want them to jump forever. And then we're going to say humanoid dot jump power is back to normal. So 50, I was wrong actually, that jump power, the regular jump power isn't like 10 or 15, it's, it's 50. So that's it. We're going to go into the game and we're going to find our Dan block. Where are you? There you are. It's bright blue. You see how it immediately launched me up, launched me up, launches me up in the air. I am not jumping or anything, I'm just running over it. 
and you can also jump on it, it it'll just launch you up in the air whenever you touch it. We this, this can make for a really good trampoline, or if you have an obby to just get to more places better. And if you're close to something, you can probably land on it. But I'm pretty far away from this, so that might be a very hard jump. Anyways, hope you've enjoyed this video, and happy coding!